one of the things you just brought up was actually the recruiting and retention. And that's probably something on every episode, every time I go anywhere, it doesn't really matter what the topic is or what we're going to talk about. Recruiting and retention become is one of the biggest issues in dental right now. What have you been seeing in your practice? And then you're mentoring, you know, almost a hundred dentists as well. What, what are you seeing with those practices? I'll, I'll share what's closest to me. And that's my story first. I would share that um, I have 17 team members in my practice, two dentists practice. Um, we run 12 chairs in the building, a uh, five-year mark. And I think we have had one team member leave in the last three years. So we have very low turnover in our practice. It's a blessing, knock on wood. I hope they don't hear me and try to jinx me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I take I take great care of our team. Even during COVID, I, we were taking care of them. Heartland had their own way of taking care of the, the team financially and with benefits that they had in case they got sick. And Heartland did their thing with that. So I think we were able to keep our team members fairly fa fairly compensated while also, also showing them appreciation and support uh, that's not just during COVID though, man. I'm, I don't really know what to give all the credit to. I'm, I'm definitely can't take all of it. My partner t sends text messages to my team members. I, uh, I send text messages to my team members. We buy them gift cards. We take them to dinners. We go bowling with them. We take them to CE courses. We say thank you at the end of the day for doing their job. And they'll say like, I was just doing my job. Yeah, but you know what? You freaking did your job pretty dang good today. And thank you. Um, yeah. Maybe that's why we have low turnover. Maybe we pay more than the office down the road. Maybe maybe it's the mission and the vision. But I don't deal with it a lot, so I can't speak to it a ton. But because mm -hmm. I do help with eighty seven doctors and which is about forty five offices, um, for that reason, I see a lot of turnaround problems and turnover problems. Sorry, turnover with they're not paying me enough. The doctor stays too late. The doctor's mean. My office manager doesn't respect me. I can go somewhere else. I can go to a private practice. Um, they always get on my case. There's so many reasons why people leave. And then you try to find somebody. And holy cow, man, our recruiting department, I'm just going to give them a shout out and also <laughs> uh, speak transparently. They're good when it's easy to get team members. Mm. It's hard to find team members when it's hard to find team members. Like It's yeah. hard for them right now. And, it's competitive right um, now, yeah. It is competitive, man. And, and if somebody can get a dollar more an hour and they haven't even met the dentist yet, like right now, I know my team members can leave and go get a dollar an hour more somewhere, but then they're going to miss out on the smile makeovers we do. They're going to miss out on my winter party that I hold. They're going to miss yeah. out on the gift certificate I give them when they, when they kill it or when it's their birthday. So that's why I think they stay. Not every dentist does that. Um, and I, I get that that may be what sets us apart, but it's for the, the person who's applying to a job. They haven't even met the team yet. I am literally only comparing salary right now or hourly wage yeah. right now. I don't even care what yeah. dentist is over there. I just care that I can get paid $21 an hour over here and I can get 17 an hour over here. I'm going there. And then you find out it's a knucklehead that doesn't care about yeah, the yeah. team. Yeah. Um, it's a weird time right now, man. Cause like every day I'm nervous, I'm going to lose a team member. So I treat them really freaking good. And I, I have a feeling I'm going to do that until I'm 60. If yeah. you just always treat them like you could lose them, then I think it creates a good environment. And I, I wonder sometimes if the practices are losing team members are the ones who don't treat them like that. Or or maybe it's just the environment we're in. Uh, it, it's such a moving target right now to, to pinpoint why it's it happening. 